Because you're a, what kind of anthropologist? Organizational anthropologist. <laughs> well, what, well, what is that, is that exactly okay. before we get into the human being? Okay, that is, so I've studied, my undergraduate was multidisciplinary sciences, but anthropology, archaeology. Mm -hmm. So I actually was on an archaeological dig that was 6,000 years old. Mm -hmm. That's really, that's like pre, pre- Where was that? In Czechoslovakia. Wow. I spent three months on a dig with the Czech students, the American students, and a translator. And, and what did you learn about like this? People and, and yeah, what goes yes. on here. So um, when you think about where over, what's happened over the last 100 years and how evolved we are and mm -hmm. the technology we have and the amount of innovation we have, that's only the last 100 years. Imagine way back then, people were nomads going across the land in Czechoslovakia yeah. and they had no innovations. They had fire, mm -hmm. right? They, they had, language, had stone. Which they was, had language. That's a huge innovation, it, language. Right, I mean, right exactly. Yeah. They had the FOXP2 gene, which is the language gene. Humans which which do. Noam Chomsky, yes. did he, he discovered that humans have a gene that no other animal has. That's the FOXP2 gene. And that's the facility for language. For language, correct. Other animals can make sound, but no other language has it, symbolic. Um, Except they think maybe the whales. And dolphins. And dolphins. I think dolphins, too. Dolphins, too. But anyway, okay, so we had, you're saying we had we language. Have we have language. So the, and Going it started back. out as grunts and groans. Okay. And the, the complexity, when you think about now, every two years, we almost double the amount of language that we have accessible to ourselves. Not Where back then, it was starting with grunts and groans and then so forth. Anyway, so yes. they only had fire. But what we discovered, the Americans were given a plot that oh. was 10 by 10 feet. And we had to dig in an experiment in this archaeological, on this archaeological dig. Oh, okay. The Czechs had been doing this for 25 years on this oh. dig going across the world. Okay. But we were given our little spot to work on. And we found the most important thing on the dig. What was what that? What was that? It was the first innovation used in cooking and community, which was to move from fire to something else is a big deal. That's like a leap. That's almost like what, what would the what something else be? Yeah. Well, we found a pot belly stove. You it found was the, stove. the first invention. A pot belly stove. In other words, going from just fire to cook food or just fire to do anything and to be able to have a kiln, they made a pot belly stove that was cooking pots. They could now have pots uh -huh. that they could keep as permanent pots right. and start to decorate them. That's but, huge. But in don't a community. you need a lot of innovation before you get to a stove? Don't you need to like extract metal from stone? I mean, create a. Well, it was a, it was a, mean, a, it was a ceramic stone stove. I know, but yeah. I mean, there's a lot of innovation that has we to come into find, civilization. We didn't find anything else but that, um, but that was the premier discovery of the 25 year, if you can imagine mm -hmm. that, dig. And that was 6,000 years old. They 6, had cooking years stove. Old, they had a cooking stove right. that was the first cooking stove. Right. 